everyone, I hope you're all well and welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking all things spring evenings outfits. I realised on my channel there was a lot of casual wear outfits on there which is absolutely fine because I'm showing you guys how to build your capsule wardrobe but I just wanted to share some more glamorous looking outfits. So this video was inspired by me actually going to London at the weekend and figuring out what to wear to take me from day to night. So this is a bit of that as well. You know, if you're going for like a late lunch and then you're staying out for the evening, these are the kind of outfits that are like perfect for that. But before I get into the video and talk about all the styling, I just wanted to talk about today's sponsor for this part of the video and that is Carrot London. One of my favourite jewellery brands, I'm so pleased to be working with them and I've got some beautiful pieces to show you. So this is the beautiful packaging that the Carrot jewellery comes in and Carrot was founded almost 20 years ago with the idea of combining fashion and fine jewellery. One of the main reasons that I love Carrot is that they work exclusively with the finest alternatives to mined gemstones. So this makes them a great sustainable alternative. When I saw this piece on the website, I fell in love with the collection. So this collection is inspired by 80s female rockers and this is called the Cindy Necklace. Cindy Lauper, we love her. This is absolutely stunning. I am just so obsessed with this. So this particular piece is made from Gold for May, which is 92.5% sterling silver with a layer of gold plating for a durable finish. And this piece has a unique chain detailing, which I'm just obsessed with, I love it. And it's also got a beautiful marquee stone cut at the center. I just think it's such a unique design and we've got the beautiful gemstone detail in here as well. So one of my favourite parts of this design is Carrot's signature slider and this allows you to adjust the necklace to any length. It makes this necklace such a versatile piece because you can then tailor it to any necklines that you're wearing. For instance, if you're wearing a high neck, you can make it into more of a choker or if you're wearing a V-neck like I've got on today, you can wear it a little bit longer as well. So I'm just gonna pop this on. As you can see here, you could have it super long if you wanted, and then you can layer up other necklaces. And then you can adjust it by gently pulling on the slider, like so. I think it just elevates any simple outfit because you've got the gorgeous, unique chain detail here and this beautiful design at the front. I'm obsessed with this. Stunning! So because I love the necklace so much, I had to get the matching bracelet, which is here. So this again is absolutely stunning and we've got some extra detail on the chain here which I just love. Such a beautiful bracelet. So I will pop this on for you now as well. And same again, we've got the slider detail in here so it's easy to adjust. I've got tiny wrists so this is perfect for me. There. How beautiful is that? Even like the detail on the slider as well is just stunning. Everything about the design is really well thought out. Absolutely gorgeous. So in this collection, you can get the matching earrings and the ring as well. But today I've decided to go with a staple, which is the hoop. They're such an everyday style for me and I know I'll definitely get my wear out of them. So these here are the Haley hoops and these are such an essential staple for me. I feel like everyone needs a pair in your collection. They are a beautiful polished yellow gold vermeil and they catch the light so well. They're so shiny. So these are designed for everyday wear and the post snaps really nicely into place as well. So they're gonna be really comfortable and secure. I feel like these are the perfect size to wear for every day as well. And then you can just leave them in if you're going from a day to night look. I feel like this little trio is perfect to elevate any outfit and takes you from day to night perfectly. Okay, so that's jewelry sorted. Let's go on to the outfits. The first outfit is this one that I'm actually wearing. You will have seen this blazer a lot on my channel and on my Instagram feed. Sorry if you're sick of it already, but I blooming love it. I had to share this for one of my evening looks. So I'm gonna start with the top half. Obviously this beautiful H&M blazer, you all know I love it. And then we've got this really lovely rib knit tank top underneath. Now I've had this for a couple years now, but they have brought it back in and other stories. I think it's just a little bit whiter, whereas this is more creamy. 
but I'm glad they've brought it back because it's great quality and they have it in a selection of colours too if you're after that. And then the bottom half, now don't be freaked out if you're a petite girl, you can wear Bermuda shorts. As long as the length doesn't sit below the knee then you're absolutely fine. So a rule that I like to follow when styling Bermuda shorts, especially if you're a petite girl, make sure that the hem sits about three inches above the knee and don't let it go over the knee because that is when it's really going to shorten your legs. And then to elongate your legs even more, team them with a mule. So this is just one of my go-to looks for spring. I wore this look last year. I teamed it with these exact mules and these shorts as well. Bermuda shorts are a big trend again this spring summer. So I'm very excited to style these again for some more lovely spring evenings. And then to finish the look, I've teamed it with this gorgeous bag from Russell and Bromley. So I actually went into their Manchester store last week because they've had a fabulous new modern refit. It's stunning in store and I picked up a few pieces. So this was kindly gifted and I've also got another bag and two pairs of shoes to show you as well because they are beautiful. Their spring collection is absolutely amazing, honestly. The quality of these products is insane as well. So definitely check them out if you haven't already. But I just love this little bag. It is so gorgeous. It looks so much more expensive than it is. And we've got the beautiful chain detailing as well. So this is one I took out in London with me last weekend. And I'm really surprised that I've kept it nice and clean, to be honest. It's a great size because it fits everything in as well. And the great thing as well, if you just want it as a little handbag, then you can take the chain off. But we've got loads of room in there as well, which is great. It looks smaller than it is but it is quite wide, so you're gonna get loads in there. So that is my first look with the Bermuda shorts. I really love this look. Like I said, if you're a petite girl, don't be afraid of trying it out. Just make sure they sit nice and high-waisted and sit at least three inches above the knee. So for my next look, this is something I wore last weekend in London and I got so many compliments on it. It is beautiful. So this is a play suit from Sandro and it is such a gorgeous colour. I've seen this shade of green everywhere. This is from Sandro and I am obsessed. Now, don't get me wrong, this piece is pricey. So I will link some alternatives below as well. But it is so well made. You guys know I love a well made piece. The fabric is stunning. The stitching is beautiful. The finishings are gorgeous, like the Sandro button and everything. I'm just in love with it. And because the bottom half is super short, it's ideal for us petite girls. So this was a great piece to take me from day to night. And I teamed this with my And Other Stories linen blazer, my beautiful Russell and Bromley shoes, and my Russell and Bromley bag as well. So I kept it really simple with the colour palette, just kept it to green and off-white, but I just loved this really super clean spring look. So fabric wise, this piece is a viscose linen blend. So it's got a super soft hand feel. It's really cooling. So it's great for the spring months and it'll take you nicely into summer as well. So it was quite warm when we were in London. So this would definitely be a great piece for those warmer spring days. And then always just take a blazer if it's gonna get cooler in the evening. But I was fine. The shoes lasted me all day. I think I've stood up for about 10 hours and they were amazing. So tried and tested. One of my favorite looks for spring this is for sure. I'm definitely gonna be wearing a lot more of this green color. So I just wanted to talk a little bit more in detail about these beautiful shoes. These are from Russell and Bromley and these are called the Dragon Sandal. And I have worn these and look at the heel. I was dancing in these like all night and they've not scuffed. So well and truly tested. So I'll definitely be wearing these again. I love how dainty the straps are and these bits tie up your leg like you will have seen on the cutout video. I think these come in black as well. And then they've got another one called Noodle, which is stunning. It comes in black and orange. So if you want a pop of color, check those out as well. So the next item that I'm basing this look around are the beige wide leg jeans. These are beautiful. I will show you these on now because they are just perfect to wear if you're a short girl. They're super, super high-waisted 
and they're the perfect length to wear with either flats or with a little heel as well. So this is why I picked those up. So I actually popped into Zara yesterday and I don't really shop in Zara as much anymore just because I find it a bit overwhelming and there's too many new things coming out all the time and I just never seem to go on there. But I just thought I'd pop in and see what was in store and they had some beautiful pieces and I always love their denim because they do it with stretch so we've got a lovely stretch cotton blend with this piece and honestly if they did this in other washes I would buy them in every colour because I feel like I've found like the perfect super high waist jean that is just great for my leg length. Another thing with Zara as well they're tailored to women who are super tall so obviously I have to always cut the ends off or you know roll them up or whatever but even if you were shorter than me because these are a raw hem you could always trim them so that's the great thing about a raw hem we've got some big patch pockets there as well and we've got this really beautiful minimal button detailing there's no fuss there's no pockets they're just a great jean to take you from day to night and i love them personally and for a lot of my styling videos i always pull out the wide leg tailored trouser so today I thought I'd mix it up a bit and go for the wide leg jean instead. So for this look I've teamed it with my beautiful lily silk shirt. You'll have seen this in a few of my YouTube videos recently. I've been wearing a non-stop. It is just such a gorgeous piece. You can wear it like I am today or you can layer it over your basics as well. The great thing about an oversized shirt is that you can treat it as a blazer in the spring summer months when it's that little bit warmer. But I thought I'd team this today with the high-waisted jeans and style it with my stunning raffia accessories. I am just obsessed with these two pieces. I'm going to talk about the shoes first. As soon as I saw these in the store, I was like, I need to have those. They are just absolutely stunning. They remind me of something that Chloe or Loewe would bring out. I'm not usually one for glitzy shoes in the spring months, but I just think this really finishes it off and it just adds that element of glamour to like a really nice neutral outfit. You've got that pop of sparkle in there, which then complements your beautiful jewellery. So you can wear this two ways. You can have it like this and have this bit covering the foot or you can wear it as a sling back. I like to wear this as a sling back because you're getting more length in the foot and then this is giving you the support as well so that's how I would wear mine and we've got a really nice heel height there perfect height for these jeans so these are actually called fairy tale and i think they're suited to that name to be honest they come with a beautiful matching bag as well but i decided to go with the larger raffia bag just because i would wear that more and i can style it with other outfits too this is the quilted raffia bag from russell and bromley you can have it like this on your shoulder you can have it crossbody and then you can have it as a little handbag with this chain as well and this is a great size it's massive so we've got loads of compartments in here we've got a little zip pocket there and we've got another pouch there it's just a great one if you are a larger handbag girl and you want to go out with something like this that's going to give you that real spring summer vibe this is the one so on to outfit number four we've got the satin skirt I love this for an evening look, especially this beautiful oyster colour. Now, this is a new piece in my wardrobe from Pixie Market and it fits me like a glove. So I got this in an extra small. I think it's sold out now, I'm afraid, but it's always coming back in stock. So I'll link it below anyway with some alternatives. And I just think it's such a great length and it'll show off my black heels really nicely. So I've decided to stay on the theme of satin and team this with my lovely little satin crop from H&M. So I actually got this last year to team with some of my winter outfits. If you've got any crop tops from the going out winter looks, then definitely get that back out for spring, summer and team it with lighter colours. So I've kept this look nice and monochrome. I've teamed it with my Arquette blazer, my black strappy sandals and my Russell and Bromley bag. So this for me is one of those that I would reach for if I'm in a rush and I'm panicking monochrome is always a go-to i love styling a satin skirt and a blazer it's just the perfect look to take you from day to night i feel like you always look effortlessly chic in this combination so yes that is definitely a favorite from me for spring but this next look is one of my favorites and this is a newer set in my wardrobe so i've been after something like this for a while now but they're either sold out in the top or sold out in the bottoms so i've managed to get my hands 
on this little piece here but the trousers are a little bit big for me so I'm going to swap those to a smaller size but just for this video I wanted to show you them and what they look like on. This is a beautiful tailored set from H&M. I'm obsessed with these vest suits at the minute. They're just the perfect combination of masculine feminine and I just think this combination is so chic. So this one was super affordable actually from H&M. Now don't get me wrong the fabric isn't out of this world it is a poly blend but I think it looks more expensive than it is. So I really loved the fit of this when I saw it on the website because you can see that it is really tailored to the female body. A lot of the waistcoats out there are based on a men's fit so you're going to get gaping at the front whereas you don't get that with this. Hence why I stuck to my true size in this as well because I wanted that really nice fitted style. I really love the buttons on the front of this piece as well. As I said before it's not the most amazing quality in the world but for the price and because it's lined as well you're getting that luxury feeling without paying too much of a high price point. So we've got the welt pockets at the front and these beautiful buttons as well. Then we've got the seam detailing at the back too. So I'll show you this on because it's a really nice fit and then we've got the matching trousers to go with it as well. So I love these. They're a beautiful straight leg trouser. One thing I would say is definitely wear nude underwear because obviously the trousers aren't lined. They are a tiny bit see-through. I'll show you them on here. I am wearing nude underwear and you can't see so... I've tested those for you and I would definitely need to wear these with a heel because they are quite long. As I said before I am going to size down in these because they do come up a little large so just bear that in mind when you're purchasing this item. I've kept it really nice and simple and teamed it with my Russell and Bromley dragon sandals and then for a bit of texture I've teamed it with my raffia bag as well and that really complements the buttons down the front as well. So I've kept it really nice and clean, this is great for the fresh and clean trend that we're seeing in spring summer 22 as well. It's the perfect date night look or going for dinner with the girls, just definitely avoid the red wine when wearing this one. So as you can tell I really like green for spring and this next look features a beautiful green little crop top and green blazer. So I love wearing the tonal shades of green on top and then teaming it with a lighter coloured trouser. So this is a really great basic that you can dress up and down and we've got the beautiful tie detail around the waist as well. The way that the tie detail ties nicely around the waist and meets the top of the trouser gives it a really chic feel I think. So this is something I'm thinking about wearing in the next couple of weeks because I love this piece. It's a perfect date night outfit and it'll also take you nicely from day drinks right into the evening as well. So this is from a sustainable brand called 90% and is made from 96% organic cotton and 4% elastane. This colour teams so lovely with this faux leather blazer. I wanted to play again with textures. So we've got the nice rib top, we've got the faux leather blazer, then we've got the twill tailored trousers. You're getting that real nice mix of fabrics, but you're keeping it nice and tonal. So sadly this blazer has sold out, but I will link a similar one below. I love the shade of this. If you don't quite get the exact shade, don't worry, you can try different shades of green as well if you want that tonal look or you could even go for a beige like this one. I just wanted to talk a little bit about these trousers. So these are from And Other Stories and these are a wool viscose blend. So even though they are a heavier weight trouser compared to the others, these are great for the spring months. If you're having one of those cooler days and you want to layer up with a blazer, then these are the ones to reach for. But they're just a beautiful fit and I think they're a great length for us petite girls again. And then if you are a little bit taller, they will sit just above the ankle, which look equally gorgeous because then they'll show off your shoes really nicely. So I've teamed this look with my dragon sandals and my quilted cream bag just so it all matches and you've got that really lovely colour palette for spring. And for this final look, I've gone for another crop top and this is the puff sleeve drop shoulder cotton crop top from 90%. I just think this is gorgeous and it's a real nod to the 80s trend which goes perfectly with my jewellery. We've got the elasticated waist here, we've got the tie details again which is something I've featured a lot without even realising in this collection. This is definitely a key design element for spring summer for sure and like I said before this little detail breaks up that bit of skin where the top meets the skirt and it just ties together quite literally so nicely. 
So we've got that for the top half and then we've actually got a skirt with the same detailing on for the bottom half. This beautiful skirt is from And Other Stories and is another piece that I found that fits me so well. So the inner of this skirt is actually elasticated so I feel like this is super comfortable and it's really easy to wear. And then we've got this beautiful strap detailing again at the waist. So what I've decided to do is combine the two and create that monochrome crossover in the midriff area. And I just think this is such a beautiful design detail and makes it look almost like a dress, even when it's just two pieces. So I've decided to style it like that. If you didn't like this, you could always just tuck it into your skirt or tuck the top detail in underneath as well. But I just think this adds a bit of interest to the outfit and makes it look that a little bit more expensive. So I got this skirt in a size 34 and I feel like it fits me perfectly. I've teamed it with my black heels and then for a bit of contrast, I've teamed it with my camel bag from Mango. This is sadly old now, but I will link some similar below as well. I love this outfit. I just think those little details just add this contemporary feel and then you can also shorten this necklace so that it fits really nicely around the neckline as well. So there we go guys, those were seven spring evening outfits. I accidentally went with the theme of green, white, black and cream and I'm here for it. I'm definitely going to be wearing all of these throughout the spring summer months for sure. For the more expensive pieces I will link some alternatives as well just in case that isn't within your budget. But have a look in your wardrobe, see what you've already got as well and see what could work with each other. You may even have something really similar in your wardrobe already that you can pull out and just recreate these looks with. That's what I'm here for, to inspire you guys to create these looks. And to be honest, a lot of these pieces could be then mixed again with each other. So it's really great to get those key staples in for spring, summer, like the slip skirt, like the shirt and those wide leg jeans as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Pop any comments below and I will see you very soon for a new video.